Hello and welcome everybody to another segment of LiveExpertInterviews.tv. My name is Steve Young and thank you so much for joining us today. Today we're talking about a very important topic and that topic is how to find a good plastic surgeon. And fortunately joining us from Honolulu, Hawaii uh, is Dr. Randy Wong. Dr. Wong, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Steve. Absolutely. So, Doc, the burning question that everybody has is really, how does somebody find a good plastic surgeon online? Maybe like the top three things. Well, uh, potential plastic surgery patients should be beware of their tendencies for impulsive decisions. Uh, the problem I see is people will think about something for a long time and they'll want to jump into a, a procedure not researching it properly. So certification by the American Board of Plastic Surgery assures that their surgeon knows how to handle complications and to have enough experience to deal with different patient types and situations. Uh, I myself am a fellow of the American College of Surgeons. I think that uh, also uh, has some rigorous uh, standards to uphold uh, in obtaining uh, such a fellowship. Um, expertise, uh, at least 10 or more years in practice, I think uh, will have uh, the proper level of experience to, to handle any problems that might come up. And uh, online reviews are important, but plan on getting several consultations and opinions. You need to actually feel a connection with your surgeon. Uh, I found after several years in practice that it's the trust and looking forward to a great result which gives I think the best results and if you have any questions or concerns anxiety things that have not been answered uh, those are bad situations moving into any kind of a procedure doc I love that so basically to sum things up if I got it all right what you're recommending is one is make sure that their 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 qualifications and certifications are up to date and they're in the right field Absolutely. Two, you, you said that we want to make sure they have experience, enough experience, at least 10 years in the field. And then three, their reputation. Reviews online give us a good indication of what other people are saying about them. And you obviously want to go with someone that's got a, a good reputation that they've built up over the years. Is that about yeah. right? Absolutely. Awesome. like to hear that. So, Doc, the next question then is, is if somebody was looking for a good plastic surgeon and they came to you, what type of an experience would they have? Well, I try to make sure that they're in the right place and we're talking about things that I can really help them with. Now, there are issues where I will turn people down because they're not candidates for the procedure that they thought they were uh, coming in for. Um, I want to make sure that we're on the same page in terms of their expectations and what I can do for them. Uh, we have to meet on their budget and my fees and then of course uh, getting a, uh, a calendar date where they can afford to take the time off for work and make sure that they have the um, ability to focus on healing and recovery properly. Got it, got it. So that makes good sense. Now Doc, I know you said um, there's some very special things about your practice. Can you take just a minute and share a little bit of information about why your practice is a little bit different from maybe some of the other practices in the marketplace? I have a very typical plastic surgery practice in that it's an integrated practice. I bring in Eastern philosophies uh, and apply them to Western technologies and so you know, I've been teaching Tai Chi for about 10 to 15 years. Uh, we use energy. Uh, we use uh, synchronicity and resonance of uh, sound and light to assist with the recovery experience. Uh, generally, 8 out of 10 patients will cut their recovery time in half. So it's, it's a little bit different uh, how I approach it. Uh, but nonetheless, um, it is, uh, I think, the... Uh, interest in obtaining the best result for my patients. Uh, we work together on that. I like that. And in the end, that's really what it's about. It's producing the results that you're looking for, your clients looking for, um, to make them a happy patient. Yes. Absolutely. Now, Doc, I know speaking of patients, I, I know you do some very special things for new patients. What exactly is it that you do? Well, we uh, 
we do our con we do charge for our consultations, but I give them their fees back uh, as a credit toward their procedures. Uh, we do have periodic uh, specials and uh, discounts on uh, various products, uh, Botox, injectable fillers, and uh, our cosmetic, cosmetic um, topical uh, creams. Uh, we've been uh, basically providing combination discounts. So patients who do uh, opt for more than one procedure, uh, they get a scaled or a, uh, a graduated uh, increase in discounts uh, toward those procedures. And of course, our loyal patients who come back for more than uh, one procedure uh, are also offered uh, these discounts. I love it, Doc. So check your website for uh, some possible discounts on there. That would be some one step for you to take. Tell us your website, Doc. www.honolulutransformingarts.com I love it. So there you have it, viewers. Take the doc's advice. If you're looking for a plastic surgeon, make sure you go online and check for those top three things that he mentioned. Education, uh, experience, as well as reputation and reviews. Um, and then kind of, you know, from this interview, know what type of a, uh, expectations to have when you go into an office. Doc, anything else that you'd like to add before we, uh, before we wrap up the, the segment? No, I thank you, Steve. I think uh, you're... Uh, invitation to participate in a process like this was was really uh, I think educational for me. Um, I never stop learning. There's always there's always more to learn. Um, I do appreciate your uh, invitation and um, thank you. Absolutely, Doc. Thanks for joining us, viewers. There you have it. If you're in the area of Honolulu or if you're going on vacation, but if you're in the marketplace and you're looking for any type of plastic surgeon um, for any procedure that you might need to have done, and you're in the Honolulu area. Make sure you look up Dr. Randy Wong for your Honolulu experience. Viewers, thank you for watching, and Doc, thanks for joining. Thank you, Steve. All right, viewers, we'll see you on the next segment of Live Expert Interviews TV.